Hello and welcome to another Foundry Quick Tip uh, for Fantasy Roleplay, uh, Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. And this one is about creating custom talents. Every so now and then you will have a character that uh, needs a talent that just isn't in the rulebook. Uh, well, some things might be similar or things like it, but... Um, yeah, you have to make something. And uh, fortunately, it's not that hard to make a custom talent in uh, in Foundry, and I will show you how. But first, let's take a look at some talents. Just for example, Etheric Entombment. Um, every talent has a uh, description. Description. It has some details, uh, the maximum amount of... Uh, times you can have that talent and the skill type which it applies to um, and the effect it does. Before we go any further let's take a look at Father Luther and let's uh, roll something. Um, this thing, channeling Enli, any in, in this case of the Theory Consumer, will be noted here. Um, there we go, just Pop that to the side. We will see that later. Um, and the effects, if you click that, you get the uh, the pop-up, and it has details, the label of the effect, it's this thing, an icon, uh, a duration, it might have some effects, in this case, these are empty, and uh, an effect uh, that's, in this case, coded. There's a drop-down menu where you can choose things. Don't worry if you're panicking around because you don't know any coding. Um, because there's other options that are way simpler than this. Of course, if you do know coding, then well, go right ahead. Um, let's take a look at Attractive. Again, a description, some details uh, and effects. And again, details, duration, effects, and some coding, and the different choices we made here. Uh, carouser, let's take a look at the effects here, the rest is all the same. A uh, little bit of coding, another drop down thing. Let's take a look at Savvy, because this one's going to be different. Uh, this one is set to maximum of one, because you can only have it one time, and this one's blank. And the effects, this one is the same, duration is blank, and effects, it has data, characteristics, intelligence, initial, because it adds 5 to your initial intelligence. And this is blank. Now, menacing, that's the type of thing we are going to do. Um, description the same, details, some stuff, and like... Let's take a look at the effects, because this is all the same. We can fill this in if you want. But uh, here we have dialogue choice. So drop down one, two, three, four. The dialogue choice, that's the one we have. And then you can just fill these things in and create your custom talent. So there we go. Let's create a custom talent for Father Luther. Father Luther is a... Uh, uh, priest of Moor, and throughout his career he has been battling the undead, and as a result he has uh, a bonus in... Uh, well, he's not as fearless of the undead as the average person. So he's not uh, fearful of the undead as the average person. So he's not fearless, because that's a talent, it makes you fearless. Um, but he has like a bonus to test against fear. Um, I think that's sort of lacking the talent in the in the warmer fantasy. So we are going to create it. We're going to create an item, and we can call it uh, Moore's uh, courage or something. We select talent. Oop, talent. There we go. And you can put it in the folder if you want, but for now we're just going to put it here. Create item. There we go. More courage. Uh, it will give you a blank 
uh, thing. First, we're going to fill in these uh, things. Let's create an image. You can browse for a suitable image for now. I'm just going to take a skull because more. Uh, description. Uh, your uh, your uh, continuous battle with the dead has made you less fearful of them than the average person. There you go. That's uh, they'll, You can put there whatever you want. You can even put some... This is what the players will see if they um, uh, check it in their uh, in their character sheet. You can put some notes here that only uh, the GM will see. There we go. Uh, details. What does it do? Well, you can get it... Uh, willpower bonus. Max. So he can get it at the moment. He can get it only two times. And the skill type, let's say uh, it gives a cool when testing for here. There you go. Uh, effects, it, it leave this blank for now. Because we are going to check out what it does at the moment. So, drag it onto a sheet. There you go. More courage. One, because he only has one instance. And um, let's roll for his cool. There you go, cool. And there you go, cool when testing for fear. And if I hover of it, you see more courage. So uh, let's double click. That is this. There you go. Uh, and if I click this, it will give one success bonus. And if I control click it, it will go away. There you go. So that's a very simple way to do it. But now let's add an effect. <coughs> Just get plus. More courage. It fills this in automatically the same as what is here. If you want to change the image or want to rename this, then you can uh, do that here. Get a different image or uh, get a different name. But for now, more courage is fine because this is what it is. There's no duration, it's just constant. Um, we're not going to add some effects, but we are going to add this effect. And to select dialogue choice, and um, let's say um, testing fear for the Undead, that's when it applies. We give a modifier of uh, plus 10. Uh, and I'm going to fill out these so you know what is what. This is going to be 1, this is going to be 2, and this is going to be uh, 1. Um, you can fill these in if you want. Uh, what choice? But submit changes, there we go. Now I've changed it here. See, I've changed it there, but uh, I gave him it before I changed it, so he still has the old one. So just hover over it until it's it lights up a bit. Of course, with player characters, you can just delete it from their list, but with NPCs, just hover over it until it lits, lights up, and then just press delete on your keyboard. There you go. And drag and drop the new one. And now, if we uh, test cool this is still there cool when testing for fear so if we click that it will give a success bonus there control click but now you see effects here and if I go drug you see testing fear for the undead that is in fact testing fear for the undead that's that and if I click that boom it gives a modifier of 10 modifier of 10 it gives success level bonus of 1, success level bonus of 1. This only applies, uh, this always applies. Uh, and a success bonus of 2, success bonus of 2, only applied on a successful roll. And you will see that um, difficulty step is 1, 
and it is now difficult it was challenging it is now difficult so maybe we should change that main just delete and do minus one there you go drag it uh, skills cool test because it's cool scroll down a bit testing for fear for the undead because there's a skeleton in the vicinity or something and now you see it went from challenging to average um, so note that plus one and minus one is one step harder or one step difficult more difficult uh, easy it's not uh, plus 10 or minus 10 because the plus one is difficult that's a difference of 10 but the minus one is average and that's a difference of 20 so minus three, two would be easy minus three would be very easy and plus two would be hard and plus three would be very hard unless of course you've got some house rules um, enabled that do the steps uh, in tens or differently but um, the thing that uh, this is there we go this is steps so that's one step easier or one step harder minus is easier and uh, positive is harder there you go um, of course you don't want all of these what well, you you could I mean it's a bit overkill but uh, usually you only have one of these things so for instance it would be uh, this you get a bonus uh, or in sometimes you get minus one there you go maybe it's this and then uh, yeah let's let's go with this so submit changes again delete that one more courage there we go and now if we roll there you go and apply there you go it's now average um of course if you're going to change the difficulty it's just as easy to just say well if you've got a bonus so it, the player can change it themselves so maybe it's more logical to do a modifier of sorts and you can also uh, do this one as well and if you want them both add shift and then you go there you go control to there you go. um so that's the um the um custom talents now uh, let's say um, just a bonus is not enough. We want something else. So more courage. There we go. Uh, we change this and make it a success level bonus of one. There we go. And um, attribute key. Uh, there we go. Wait, what was it? I forgot. I forgot the thing. Uh, that's why you have this as an example uh, data characteristics there you go I can't remember everything uh, data characteristics let's give him a willpower bonus uh, as well of uh, add yep of, uh, just uh, two hope this works and if not, I have to find out what that uh, initial line is. There you go. Oop. Choop. Um, no, that's incorrect. Effects. Initial. There you go. There you go. And now it went from 29 to 31. It gave him... Uh, uh, willpower bonus of two so that's it uh, that's how you do uh, custom talents um, gives you a little bit of uh, uh, a way to um, be creative with the talents for characters and NPCs uh, oh and of course you can um, you can you can do more stuff let's say yeah uh, more courage uh go here effect type role dialogue description when dealing with the living 
modifier minus 10. There you go, so big changes. Uh, delete that one. Because he's so used to dealing with the undead, he's also a bit out of touch with uh, the living. So when I do a charm, when dealing with the living, there you go, minus 10. You see? So uh, that's it. I uh, hope you like it. Have fun with it. And I'll catch you next time.